Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another review. This time I'm gonna be reviewing a restaurant. Um, but before I do that, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm at 191 subs. Thank you guys for the support. I think 191 or 192. I can't remember what it was. It was definitely 190 something. But I couldn't remember if it was 191 or 192 subs. But thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate that. If you guys are interested in these these videos, ch check out my uh, other uh, playlists. I do also I do other reviews too on like movies and stuff. I also do um I also do um prediction videos sometimes too. Um. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, please hit that like button and subscribe. And remember guys, if we can get to 200 subs, I have two reward videos for you guys. Two reward videos. So um, please hit that like button and subscribe. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is bonkers. Boy, oh boy, Bonkers. Uh, Bonkers is an uh, interesting uh, restaurant to talk about. The reason why it's interesting is because, uh, well, for one, it, it's the uh, fact that I can't, no matter what, I can't find the, the freaking date on, on Google. If I look it up, it thinks I'm talking about the show Bonkers. But I'm not. I'm not talking about the show Bonkers. I'm talking about, um... I'm talking about, you know, the uh, actual restaurant bonkers. Number two, it's the, the uh, eyes. Yes, there's there's eyes on the wall on bonkers. In fact, there's actually old tokens, too, you can find with the eyes of bonkers on there. I actually have some. I'll show you guys after I'm done with the video, um, if I can remember, because I've been forgetting stuff kind of lately. Um, but yeah, there, there, well, there used to be tokens and eyes on the wall, but the tokens they switched to cards, and then, uh, and then uh, you know, uh, when well, they switched to cards, and then, uh, and then the eyes uh, are are on, off the the building now. They remodeled the building. Now, no, no, unlike the other restaurants where they went to like shoebox designs, which I hate. I don't really like them too much. I don't think they're awful. I just don't care for them too much. I know one YouTuber who does exploring vi abandoned videos. He does it. Well, he, he goes around and videos abandoned places like Kmart and stuff. Occasionally, he'll actually find videos of places. Well, do videos of places that are still in business or that are going out of business, like Kmart and stuff. But he's actually he mostly focuses on abandoned places. But he doesn't like the shoebox designs either, and I'm I'm with him. I think they're just too simple. They look too much alike. That's the thing. That's the style everyone's going with now. It's kind of like carpet. Like carpet was kind of fading away for a while in, in like houses and stuff, and now carpet's becoming a thing again. So it's probably that state in life where they're they're all making um, buildings look identical and stuff, and they'll probably change them up again down the road. So. Yeah, um, but yeah, anywho though, anywho, yeah, so Bonkers actually had a redesign in their building too, but unlike the other ones, I actually like it, I do, I think the, the, the tie-dye colors and stuff look pretty good on there, they look pretty good, I like it, I like the tie-dye colors, on it. although I miss the eyes on the building, which I still think it's kind of creepy, but kind of cool in the same way. I mean, the eyes are just watching you. Like, they're just watching you. Like, like seriously, what, what are the eyes even looking at? Like, what are they looking at? Like, they're just looking out a, on the side of the building. They're just looking out the, out the side of the building. It, it's, it's kind of weird, honestly. It's really weird. Like, I don't even know what they're even looking at, but, yeah, it's just weird. It's like those. It's like there. There those eyes are mocking me. Are those eyes mocking me? Are you guys? Are, are, are bonkers bit mocking me? 
I don't really know, but it's just it's just kind of weird. It's like, oh, when we use the word mocking him, it's like stalking me. It's like watching in my every movement or something. I don't know, but it's kind of weird, though, to have the eyes and stuff. I still kind of miss the eyes. I, I, I always questioned why there were eyes on the building when I was little and stuff. I still like the eyes and stuff. I still thought they were kind of cool. But they got they got rid of them in the last decade. They got rid of the eyes and redesigned all our buildings. There might be some that might still have the original look, but most of them have changed it. That's kind of how the Burger Kings are. Like some some Burger Kings out there still have the original um look to them from the early 2000s with the blue roof and stuff. That goes for Pizza Hut too. But a lot of them are going to a, a more simple design and all that. While Bonkers kind of kept the tie-dye part, but, but got rid of the eyes and stuff. So, yeah, but I don't know. But besides that, let's go ahead and talk about, um... Let's talk about Bonkers. Again, I don't know when Bonkers came out. I really don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you guys. Because I have not... I have not been to... Well, 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 because I, I don't know when it came out because they don't show on Google. But yeah, they don't show it on Google uh, when, when it came out. But, um, yeah, but, I, but, I, I, but I, I still think, you know, I still think, you know, it, it's kind of worth at least noting a Bonkers has definitely been around since the early 2000s because I've been there many times. Back when I had my appointments when I was little in, in, in um, Columbia, I'd always go to the one in Columbia. I always preferred Bonkers over Chuck E. Cheese. I did. That's actually why I'm reviewing Bonkers. These Bonkers is actually very similar to Chuck E. Cheese. They really are similar. Um, now, Bonkers, um, adults can actually play in the play area. They can't. So if you want to slide down the slide, which is actually pretty fun, you go flying. It's kind of like the swing set outside. Outside of the house, you can go go down the I go down the slide flying down it only you know, because I'm too big for it now. I I won't go down it as much. I only, I won't go down it as fast. I meant to say, but um, but the slides and bonkers, I'll go flying down if I ride on them. I got some video footage of me going down the slide. I do. I do get some video footage. I actually recorded bonkers. I got to record it. Now the sad thing is though they kind of change it up a little bit in the inside too. However, unlike the McDonald's and Holt Summit where they freaking remodel it and there's like no footage of the inside of it, there is footage of the inside of Bonkers. There's footage of it. I've seen the footage. I, I've actually I've gotten captured. I've got some captured footage of it. However, I. However, I don't, I, I don't know, I might actually down the road show you guys what it looked like in the past inside of it. That'd be kind of cool. Because you can really see, you know, there's like a drone or something flying around in video and in the inside of it. I don't know, but it's kind of weird. But yeah, you can literally see the entire inside of the building, which is really cool. I wish they would have done that with the freaking McDonald's and, and Holt Summit too. I'm still upset. I'm always going to be upset that I never got video footage of it. Because back then, phones and stuff did, didn't have, uh, they didn't have, um, you know, you know, video cameras put on them that much. And, uh, and I, I had my 3DS, but, but, well, I didn't get that until a after, I think, it, it changed, they remodeled it. Or maybe it was, like, or maybe I got it when they remodeled I think I actually got it, and they remodeled it, I think, after I, like, right after I got it. So, yeah, unfortunately, I did not get the video. I have got footage. I got footage of, of the uh, McDonald's, what it looked like on the outside. But, unfortunately, the inside, I don't have anything because they changed it up. It was actually the first McDonald's. The, uh, around, around in Missouri that I'm aware of where they actually changed up the McDonald's and made it more simple looking. Because the other ones in, 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 in Holt Summit, not Holt Summit, I mean in Missouri in general, they didn't actually make them more simple looking until later on. Because they, they still had the, the red roof and stuff on them with the uh, yellow stripes. So, yeah. 
I'm not sure what the yellow stripes meant on the roofs, but I guess it's maybe fries. I don't really know. They don't look like fries, but I don't know. But but yeah, but there's actually footage of this bonkers though, so at least that's good. There's footage of it. I don't know if I got footage of it or not in the past because because again, I I told you guys before. Uh, I lost my memory cards in the past. I don't have any footage of that stuff. And then the one the one memory card I do have footage of that goes all the way back to 2013. That that one is that one is uh is corrupted. It's corrupted. Now I know the 3DS came out in 2011, but I really didn't I didn't get 3DS until the end of the year. So I didn't get one until the end of the year. But I, but, but I still had four memory cards and stuff, and three of them out of the four has a lot of stuff on it. So, one of them is just like a, a video video thing I kept, uh, I kept from, because I, I forgot to back up off of someone else's car, and I decided just to keep it and all that. The person wasn't really using it anyway, so yeah, but yeah, I kept it. And it was fine. The person was fine with it, so I just kept it and all that, but, yeah, um, but yeah, so, um, I don't know if I got any, vi I'm probably, probably did get video footage on it, knowing me, because I went through a lot when I was little. Chuck E. Cheese, I didn't go to that much. Chuck E. Cheese, I kind of just, I didn't go to as much. I went there a little bit when I got older, but when I was little, I didn't go to Chuck E. Cheese that much. I kind of just... I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in actually years, but that's because the one closed in Columbia, and I wanted to go there and get some video footage, but unfortunately I couldn't. So, uh, yeah, but, but the thing is, though, is, yeah, so there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Now, I should probably be talking about mainly the restaurant itself. Now, the thing is, though, there's really not a lot to talk about except for the player stuff, because otherwise it's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese in a way. They've got, they've got, like, games. You can play games. Yeah, they got games. And then they also got, um... They've got, you know... A play area, like, like Chuck E. Cheese does. Um, and they also got pizza, which I, I told you guys before. I don't like pizza, so... Pizza's not really my thing. I even tried their pizza I, a few years back, and I don't really like it. But, um, but yeah, I don't really like it too much. But, but I gotta say this, though. I don't really, I mean, yeah, even though eating, eat, not being able to eat there kind of sucks. I, I, I gotta say, it's pretty, I think it's actually be better than, than Chuck E. Cheese, because, just because of the play area. Because I could do more there than just play games. I can actually go in the play area and stuff. I can actually go in the play area and all that and and do stuff there. I can grab a drink, but I could get like at any restaurant I can grab a drink. But the food's what you mainly need when you're running around a lot, you can get hungry real easily and stuff and all that. And because I don't like pizza, I'm not I can't really do much there. I mean the Pizza Hut and stuff is different because I'm only gonna be there for a short amount of time. And Pizza Hut's got like chicken and stuff there too. But th with this restaurant though, with this restaurant in Chuck E. Cheese, I don't really have anywhere I can actually eat. I don't got anywhere where I actually can eat stuff because I, because you know, they don't really have any pizza and I mean, all they have is pizza. So, yeah, I mean, you can buy, I think you can buy some candy, but you need actual food and all that, but. I don't really know um, what to say. I really don't know. I really don't know what to say. But, but yeah, I gotta say though, I do, I do kind of, I, I do like you know, I do like you know the whole bonkers effect too. I like the, the the colors and stuff. I think they're pretty good and all that. And I do like you know that you can play in the play area, but there's really not really much to talk about when it comes to the play area itself. Well, the place itself, it's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, only it's it's bigger, it's a lot bigger and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the same score I gave Chuck E. Cheese, which I think I gave it this score. It should have been the score at least, and that is 100 points.
Yeah, 100 points. Although it's better than Chuck E. Cheese, it, it's, it, I still have to say the food actually takes it down a bit because when it comes to arcades and stuff, they're going to be there for a while. And, uh, and when you don't have a lot to eat, you can always bring food with you. But I'm judging this on the restaurants themselves and not really what you bring to where to, you know, where and when and all that, you know. I'm mainly judging the restaurants on what they, what they serve and all that. And yeah, it, it's not, it's not very, um, it, it's just the pizza, I don't really care for the pizza too much and stuff. And when, you know, when, when I'm hungry and stuff, you know, and running around and playing games and stuff, you know, it's like, there's not really a whole lot to that. But, I gotta say, it's still really fun. It's still fun. I still really enjoy, enjoy the, 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 effect, like the atmosphere of the restaurant. I think it looks really good. And I, I, I gotta say, I still really enjoy it, besides the, the food. But I think it, it's definitely better than Chuck E. Cheese, just because of the play area. If I, if, if I, um... If I couldn't play in the play area, then it'd probably be about the same as Chuck E. Cheese. Because I don't know what kind of prize this Chuck E. Cheese, you know, serve, like, sells or something. But, but, yeah, I don't know. But I gotta say, yeah, it'd be about the same, though. No, no, there's also there was also a place called Showbiz that was kind of like both of these. But I don't know enough about Showbiz because Showbiz shut down in the early 1990s. And I wasn't around then, so... I really don't don't know. I don't I don't know when, when they um. I don't know like what what they were or exactly or why I. I know they were kind of like Chuck E. Cheese. They had food and stuff. But I don't know if they had games or something or uh. Or or you could you know. You could you know um. Well well I, I well I knew there were puppets there. So it was kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's because you could you can have puppets there that. That would sing or something for it. I think they would sing or they would they perform on stage or something. Either that, they were guys in costumes. I'm really not sure, but they were there were definitely people on stage and stuff, and you would eat, which is pretty cool. But but I don't know enough, enough about showbiz like their prices and stuff to really judge them. Unfortunately, there are showbiz pizza places that still exist, but they're not by the same owner and they're outside of the U.S. So. Even even if they weren't by the same, I mean they were in the U.S. I still probably would have to go go on my gut of the past because with, with, with they're not being under the same owner anymore, then you know, it's kind of not judging it fairly because you want to judge it by the way it was back then. It's kind of like like Blockbuster, the last Blockbuster store. Now, now to be fair, that's a little bit different because that you know it's still kind of the same store and all that, but. Unless they, unless they keep the showbiz pizza place the same, and there's, there's no point of, like, you know, judging it the same way. But, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and probably end up letting things go from here, though. So, um, yeah. If you guys would like, like, um, like, if you guys like my videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. And I won't be uploading this video right off the bat. <laughs> I won't be uploading it right off the bat because I gotta get food made. But I will upload it down the road later today if I can remember. Anywho, as I let the video go, you guys can you guys can have the, the bonkers building stare at your soul while I let the video go. Like, just look how creepy he looks. He's just looking at like what? Like seriously, what is he looking at? He's so creepy. Anywho, bye. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I am watching you. Wait, where did you go?